Welcome to the New York State Online Services NYS 45 web file demonstration. To begin, log into your New York State Online Services account. If you haven't created an online services account, visit the online services section of our website to learn how. Select services located in the upper left of your account summary page. From the drop down menu, select employment and withholding taxes, then select NYS 45 web file. This will bring you to the questionnaire page. In the section headed Filing Information, provide the requested information about the filing period. Next, in the section headed Filing Details, let us know if you'll be manually entering employees or payees or uploading a file. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to upload a file, but businesses with less than 1,000 employees or payees can also choose to manually enter information. For more information on manual entry, see our NYS 45 web file demonstration. Note that if you enter more than 1,000 employees, you'll be required to upload a file. To learn about the accepted file upload formats, select the question mark icon beside the file format field. When all information has been entered, select Continue. Next, on the Taxpayer Information page, we'll ask for some additional information about your business for the selected quarter and year. You can save your filing by selecting Save and Exit, located in the upper right of each screen. To learn more about specific fields or questions, select the question mark icon beside it. In the section headed Taxpayer Information, let us know if any of the listed conditions apply to your business. When all information has been entered, select Continue. This will bring you to the Employee or Payee Wage Reporting and Withholding Upload page. For detailed information on file formatting for upload, see our Wage Reporting Web Upload Electronic Reporting Format Instructions. In the File Upload Information section, attach your NYS 45 upload file by selecting Browse. Use your browser to locate the appropriate file, then select Upload File to attach the schedule for your filing. If you have errors with the format of your file, you'll receive a description of where the errors are in your file. Correct the errors and upload your file again. Next, on the Employee or Payee Wage Reporting and Withholding Upload Details page, you'll be provided with a summary of your uploaded information. Review the information in the Upload Details section. If all information is correct, select Continue. On the Unemployment Insurance UI Information page, provide the number of employees for each month in the reporting period. Then in the section headed UI Information, let us know if you paid any excess UI remuneration. Note that the UI tax rate will set to the default rate if you don't have a UI rate on file with the Department of Labor. If you don't have a UI rate on file, you can edit this default rate. If you have a rate on file, you can't edit this rate. Once all information has been entered, select Calculate to calculate your total UI contributions due. When all information has been entered, select Continue. If we calculated any unemployment tax due, you'll be brought to the Unemployment Insurance UI Tax Due Details page. In the section headed Tax Due Details, your total UI amount due will be displayed. In the section headed Payment Information, your total amount due will be listed as a payment. You may change this payment amount, but be aware that paying less than the total amount due may result in penalties and interest charges. 
When you're ready to proceed, select Continue. If we calculated any withholding tax due, you'll be brought to the Withholding Tax WT Tax Due Details page. Select Payment History to view a summary of NYS1 payments made for the quarter. Select Back to return to the Tax Due Details page. In the section headed Tax Due Details, your withholding tax due information will be displayed. To apply a credit from the previous period, enter the amount into the box labeled WT Credit from previous quarter's return. If we have a record of a credit on file from the previous period, we will provide that amount here. If you disagree with this credit amount, you can update it to reflect your records. Then select Calculate. In the section headed Payment Information, your total amount due will be listed as a payment. You may change this payment amount, but be aware that paying less than the total amount due may result in penalties and interest charges. When you're ready to proceed, select Continue. If you owe unemployment insurance or withholding tax, you'll be brought to the Pay from Bank Account page, where you can make a direct debit payment from a checking or savings account. To make a payment, enter your bank routing number. The bank name should populate automatically. Next, enter and confirm your bank account number. Select the account type from the drop down menu and enter the name of the account holder. If you'd like us to save your bank account information for future filings, check the box labeled Save Bank Account. If the return you're filing is not past due, you'll have the option to schedule your payment for a future date. You cannot schedule a payment later than the return's due date. If you have partially paid or we determine you owe an additional amount, we will bill you for the remaining balance. We won't debit your account for more than the amount authorized. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. If you owe both unemployment insurance and withholding tax, you'll be returned to the Pay from Bank Account page to enter payment information for your withholding tax due. If you saved your bank account in the previous step, it will populate in the section labeled Choose Bank Account. Select it here or enter and review your payment information. When you are ready to review your return, select Continue. This will bring you to the Review and Verify page. To make changes to your filing information, select Edit. If all the information is correct, review the e-signature section and select Submit. On the Transaction Confirmation page, you'll receive a confirmation number to show that your return has been received. You should select Print to print a copy of this confirmation page for your records. To print or save a copy of your full return, select View Print Form. Select File, Amend Another Return to File or Amend Another Return. This completes our demonstration. If you have questions, please visit our website for further information. Thank you for your interest in New York State Online Services.